Hey, everybody. Uh, hopefully, you can hear me all right. Let me just make sure. Click here to view the post. Okay. So it seems like, yeah. All right, let me see if this is working. Okay, it looks good to me, like it's already doing it. Um, so thank you so much for commenting on the uh, on the post and wanting to know. So this was kind of this post was, uh, you know, the twenty thousand dollar. Let's just say it's twenty thousand dollar Facebook post, right? So what I did was I'll show you the post first, and then I'll show you like why I did it. Okay. Um, and we're just kind of getting going here. So let's see if we have, if everybody can see and hear me okay uh, before we uh, begin. Okay, it looks like people can, but if you could let me know, can you see this? Uh, okay, just friends mode. Man, I thought this was gonna be public. Um, anyway, it seems like this is, yeah, I guess this is just friends, but uh, this is Ecamm Live that I'm on right now. So. Let me show you uh, my screen, and I don't think that – I'm just trying to see if people can see this okay and stuff. So let me know if you can see and hear it okay. Um, that would be awesome. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen and show you the post, okay? Uh, let me just bring up my Google here. Uh, okay. All right. Um, yeah. Okay. So this was the post, and let me show you here. All right. Now we're gonna get rid of this thing. Oop. All right. That's gone. Okay. Let me see if I can share my screen here. Do 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 do. Yeah. Here we go. All right. So um, let me just make this smaller somehow. Sorry guys, they're always messing with the uh, the eCam software here, uh, or at least I, I don't really know how to use it. Honestly, <laughs> I guess that's the truth. So here is the uh, post. Let me make it bigger so both you and me can see it. All right. So this was the now to all my so leave me a comment in the post if you are running ads, if you ever run Facebook ads. Uh, that kind of thing, because this is really um, – now, this ad could be on your personal page like you've just seen me do, right? This ad could be on your personal page. This could be – so that would just be a post, you know? Um, this ad could be run as I did uh, in the uh, news feed um, and maybe also on YouTube if you took this and made it like a little you know, keynote thing, right? Keynote PowerPoint. So – this was too ice cold traffic, meaning that uh, these people had no idea who I was, uh, and we ran this ad to them, and it was selling a seven dollar uh, course that Bond Halbert and I did. You know, if you followed me for any amount of time, you'll see me mention this course that Bond Halbert and I did, and people just loved it. Like it just was this little hack. Basically, it shows you how to go to AOL and dig and Reddit and look at those headlines and model the headlines for your emails. And then, therefore, like increasing the power of your email open rate and that kind of thing. As email declines over time, you know, this stuff is still good for texting and, and email. I mean, email is still making, you know, billions and billions of dollars a year, right? But uh, the bottom line is um, uh, so let's just go through this really quickly. So, uh, all right, right here it says um, so the ad starts out. Let me just make this a little bigger. Okay, the ad starts out and it says uh, – now, this is the important part. Now, look at the image here. It's an image of a – this is a, to advertise email marketing stuff, right? So you've got an image of uh, – you've got an image of an email inbox with some weird graphics around it, and the, the headline says how to write emails, which get sales and get open, right? So, again, is this a claim? You know, that's not for me to decide. That's for Facebook or Google or whoever to decide if that's a claim. So with that being said – uh, this is the structure of the ad. So again, this is the cold traffic. This was going to uh, sell a $7 video, uh, and it had about $200 in upsells, 
right? So if I was doing this today, which I am going to rerun this actually, I would broaden the uh, traffic that we sent it to and not narrow it down so much, okay? Um, let me just see if we have any, any people who need anything before I go into it. Okay, cool. What's up, Sal? How you doing, man? Um, all right, so, and again, for you guys watching this later on, I will, of course, post the ad, uh, post the ad um, link in the comments. I just wanted to show everybody, since you guys have been so great about commenting, uh, what we were doing, okay? So, with that being said, let's go back in here and go over here. All right, so, uh, I have a question for you. Is your email open rate below 20%. Now, this is the most important part of the ad uh, because we are immediately doing a few things. We're kind of doing dog whistle copy where we call out to exactly who we want, right? Like notice I'm not saying, is your business struggling or do you want more clients, right? That's not a big enough of a, a hell island scenario. Like the, it's just sort of too vague. So notice how I'm very specific about, you know, uh, I have a question for you. Is your email open rate uh, below 20%? If so, what if I could show you a simple way to get it above 50% ethically and fast? Now, when I run this again, I don't know if they'll let me have those numbers in there, right? Uh, but then we go in, want to write simple email subject lines, which get open. Now, again, notice how I'm not saying, notice how I'm not making this a huge concept, right? Which is, I mean, at this point, I probably looked at more offers and more uh, like starter copy, you know, like raise your hand if this is you type of copy than anybody else. And uh, in the, at least in like the make money space, you know, offer space. And so what happens is people get way too big on this stuff, right? And they're like, hey, would you like to learn copywriting, right? That's not, that's not what we're saying, right? Because that's too big of a thing. Nobody wants to learn copy, right? Nobody wants to learn how to market their business. So we focus on something really, really, really small that we can give them like an immediate win with and then uh, and then go on from there, okay? Let me double check again. Okay, cool. And if you guys are seeing and hearing this, okay, if you could let me know in the comments, that'd be awesome. Uh, okay, so first of all, start with a question, right? And I'll give you this whole thing, right? So uh, I have a question for you. You know, is your email open rate below 20%? Now, if you were gonna do this during the current uh, situation we find ourselves in, uh, because you cannot mention anything health related in a lot of Facebook ads or Google stuff, you would say something like, hey, are you spending a lot more time at home lately, right? And that would get around all their, you know, filters or you can't say this, you can't say that about the current uh, situation we find ourselves in in America, right? Or, it, uh, of course, all in the rest of the world. But so, like, I have a question for you. If it, Let's say it was like a weight loss thing. I have a question for you. Uh, are you spending a lot more time at home lately? That makes it a lot harder to get to the gym on a regular basis, right? And then uh, what if I could show you a simple way to, you know, um, to shed uh, excess to excess weight that's worked for me really well without having to uh, go to the gym, right? And then uh, if you want to skyrocket, so notice this, the specificity here. First of all, I said, is your email open rate below 20%? So I'm talking about email open rates specifically right? Then what if I could show you a simple way to get it above 50%? So that first line is like what we call what Travis Dock, Sago, and uh, a couple of our people in our group call Hell Island, Heaven Island, right? So the first line is Hell Island, right? Are you in this horrible situation? The next line is, is Heaven Island, right? Like, hey, would you want to be in this better situation, right? Get your email open rates up. Uh, want to write simple email subject lines, which get open. So again, I'm talking to the thing that they want here. If you want to skyrocket not only your email results, definite claim, uh, but have amazing formulas for headlines and body copy as well, this will be the most important ad you read all year. Here's why. My name's Lon Childs, and this goes into like some social proof. I've been writing persuasive copy, both email and sales letters for the last you know 17 years. Uh, my clients have included these people that you might know, right? Andy Jenkins, Frank Kern, Bond Halbert, Perry Belcher. See my methods on the next page. Write easy emails which get sales and get opened. Now again, see that last line? And then I just simply took that last line and I made it the headline, right? And then here it is, like discover the formula big magazines use to, to get you to buy at the checkout counter. So again, there's some stuff here. Um, and then here's the question angle I used, right? So 
Um, here's the whole ad, and I will give this to you. Uh, again, you'll see some differences in the, the ad. I guess there is some differences in the ad that I posted, and then the, there, this was like another version that I had, so this is a little bit longer, right? Um, actually, this is a totally different one. I'm sorry. Anyway, it's pretty much the same. It, so these are two different versions. All right, so this version is like very uh, kind of blind. You don't really know what I'm doing. And then in this other version, uh, I talk about this concept. Right. Instead of doing things the hard way, we're going to model people that have been writing copy for a long time and just model their formulas. Right. We model what continues to work. And then. And then I actually make the pitch right here. Right now, I'm offering the videos that outline how to grab sales fast from your tiny emails or a small list, even if you hate selling and even if your open rates are low right now, even if you're a pro copywriter. So, again, uh, would this work today, like two years later? Yeah, probably. Um, I wouldn't have this line in here because it's like I just would get rid of it. Um, I would probably get rid of these two things, right? Uh, so then, like, it reassures them that, hey, email's not going away. Um, you know, internet marketing industry alone is $9 billion. Uh, and then, actually, we go into the bullets. So I, I think I took some of these bullets from the sales page uh, and just put them right here on the actual ad itself. Um, to like just get them to keep reading, right? Like I, I want to get their curiosity and their desire really, really, really ramped up here. Um, and so this is a pretty direct pitch, whereas this other one is more blind, what we call blind, right? Like they have to click the link to buy it. Uh, so I'm going to attach that ad for you. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll uh, give you the ad uh, in like 10 minutes or so. All right, thanks so much, and I'll talk to you soon.